Hello everyone. The title of this video is Story about the Philippines as of November 2020. This is part two of the video. Before we start off, let us please pray first. Heavenly Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your message for the Philippines. I pray that these people who watch this video and hear it will understand your message in jesus christ's name amen this video will explain the moral of the story about the philippines as of november 2020 the boy represents the country philippines the Father represents Heavenly Father God. The matches represents the temptation of Satan to the boy. The fire represents the problem. The injured boy represents the consequence of the disobeying his father. The friends of the boy are the WH organization and all evil people who desire the destruction of the Philippines. The boy loves his father, but is hard-headed. It would put itself in risky situations because he thinks he can handle it. He has the I can do it attitude but when he is in trouble he cries out for help from his father the father would help his son and teaches a lesson not to do the same mistake again then the boy made a promise to his father to obey what he said but due to the boy's pride it repeated his mistake again the boy then ran to its father, expecting his father to feel sorry for him. Instead, his father sermoned him because he gave into peer pressure instead of having self-discipline to refuse to do what is wrong. The boy has a bad habit of blaming others for his mistakes it refuses to admit that it is he that created his problems the boy will continue to make the same mistake in his life until he admits that it was he who gave into the temptations that created the problems in his life solution the boy must first humble itself and sincerely admit that he allowed the temptation to control his life. Then he must forgive himself and forgive those who tempted him. And he needs to practice self-discipline daily to refuse what is wrong and always do what is right. So. This is the end of the message, the video. If you have further questions regarding this message, please pray to Jesus Christ directly. Ask Him for yourself. This is the end of the message. May Heavenly Father God, Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus Christ give you the love, peace, wisdom, and understanding of Jesus Christ in your mind and heart every day of your life. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen.